Okay, so good morning from the meadow. As you can see, the sun is out, the skies are blue. We've got some sunshine, got some power going into uh, the panels. It's all good after about a week, probably of solid overcast and incessant torrential rain. So here we go, it's just one of the chores. I've got to muck out the chickens today, but um, I've got a little plan for what I'm gonna do with the chicken poop. Um, it's all gonna go into the vertical strawberry beds. I'm gonna put little pockets of poo between the strawberry plants, because they're all quite small at the moment, because it's uh, still winter. Um, and then over the course of the next month or two, those nutrients are gonna go in to this raised bed system that I will show you in a minute. And also, because it's supposed to be getting cold for the next week, I'm going to use the straw, the, the clean straw, out of the chicken shed to insulate the strawberries a little bit, because they're all quite small plants. Um, I'll talk, talk more about the strawberry bed in a minute when I get up there. At the moment, it's uh, time to clean the chicken shack out. Back in a minute. Okay, so these are my vertical strawberry beds. Um, basically made two troughs aside. Um, and what I used was the actual framework is the internal racking for a supermarket delivery trolleys that go in the back of lorries. Um, they were leftovers from a festival site. So I made an A-frame and we've got four tr uh, troughs in there. Um, basically this, the strawberries that were in there last year kind of suffered because of the drought a little bit because we were away working, we're not going to be this year. Um, so the soil needs livening up and what I've done is I've transplanted some of the st strawberry uh, suckers from other strawberry plants that we've got on the land and replanted this bed out. And what I'm going to do now is use the chicken poop to you know, have a little look. I've made little sockets, little holes all the way along the bed in between the plants. I'm just going to put chicken poop in them, cover them up, and then I'm going to use the clean straw to sort of insulate the strawberries a little bit um, because we're supposed to have frosty weather coming. Um, and these are all quite young plants. So uh, we'll give them a bit of TLC. Uh, we literally have strawberries growing everywhere. Strawberries and raspberries. They've done really well. We've sort of planted initial beds and they've gone mental. Um, so here we go, actually. Let me just quickly show you. Ooh. So these are all the raspberry canes. I've got to go around the garden and trim all those down, print, prune those down. That's another one of the jobs for today. Um, but, you know, it's just basic garden maintenance in winter at the moment. Um, just doing all those little odd jobs that you don't get time when it's planting time because it's all so busy. So we'll go to stop motion. Um, I'm just going to sort these beds out and then uh, we'll see where we're at at the end of it. Nice one. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, strawberry beds all done. Um, as you probably just watched on the um, on the stop motion, basically what I've done is put little Nutra bullets of chicken poop in between all the young strawberry plants, and they'll be sort of slow release food basically for them. And I've also insulated them with a bit of uh, straw because you do have cold weather predicted, whether it happens or not. Who knows? Um, Basically, if you're organic gardening, uh, don't be afraid of poop. You're going to be using loads of it. So sometimes you just have to get your hands in it, unfortunately. 
um, such is the case uh, doing this method. But hopefully we'll see the results in springtime. Hopefully they'll all uh, pick up. Uh, this bed has been one of our most successful beds. I built it about three, four years ago now. And we have a huge supply of strawberries come out of it every year. Um, obviously the drought last year kind of uh, killed off some of the plants. So I've replanted with fresh ones from another location on the land. Um, we'll see how it goes. But vertical planting, if you've got a wall, you know, even if you've got a tiny garden, if you've got a wall and you can build troughs up the wall, you could do, I know, probably three or four troughs on a six foot high fence. Um, and you can put all sorts in them. I mean, you can have a constant supply of summer salads. You know, radishes grow really quick. They're a real quick turnover. Lettuces, real quick turnover. Um, have an established strawberry bed. Like I said, this one's been going for about three, four years now. It gives us loads of fruit every year. Um, it was time for some TLC and some food, which is why it's getting it this winter. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, keep on supporting the channel. Click subscribe, share it with your friends if they, you think they might be interested. Uh, give us a like, drop a comment, whatever. Um, it'd be nice to hear from you. Uh, we try and answer them all. Um, and yeah, we've got plenty to come. This is just essential winter garden maintenance. So we'll tick this in the self-sufficiency box. Nice one guys, see you soon. Ta-da, bye.